I forgot the numb to the running beard scoring explosions. Okay, he is calling James Harden in the running beard. He's been doing it for several years. He's trying to get the nickname to catch. It has not caught in any way. <laughs> but he scored 58 <laughs> points last night, and the Houston Rockets needed all of them to crush my father and their beloved Miami Heat. They need everything here, Chris. But I think the aesthetics of this is something that bothers people because his style is different, because his usage rate is so high. Are you numb to these scoring explosions? or do you believe in them? Well, I think that kind of goes with it, right? People get numb to somebody that has 50 points all the time. He's always doing it, so people get kind of numb to it. But I think if Houston was in first place, it would be a bigger deal. Oh, he's right about that, right? If they won more playing that style, they, it would be a bigger deal. And then we'd expect them to win game seven against the Warriors in the playoffs, yes or no? Well, they needed Chris last year. I think you got to, if you want to beat the Warriors, you got to have the whole entire team and the fans and home court to beat those guys. They had it. Chris just got hurt at the end. Oh, he's a great, great player in the regular season. Oh, uh, uh, that's right. Oh, that's right. That's Take right. it that's easy. That's so mean. Easy. Right next to the athlete. <laughs> Does Dwayne Wade have too much left in the tank to retire now? I believe these questions have been tailored to a certain guest that we have here who has some experience with Dwayne Wade. They lost to the Rockets last night, and this is when you see age creep in, when father time is on your shoulders and it's pivots hey, and pump hey, fakes. Hey, 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 <laughs> it worked, though. It did work. It's going to work in the nursing home. He's going to be able to do that 50 years from now, dragging a dialysis machine down the court. How are people still biting on those fakes? First of all, that's why you got to move on from basketball. Dwayne Wade, I salute you. People still want you to play. Does he have some in the tank? Of course he has a million more fakes in the tank. But you can do other stuff. <laughs> pump faking <laughs> in retirement. There are people who are going to fall for those pump fakes 20 years from now if he wants to do it. The young fellas always do. I have a question for you. When you play with Dwayne Wade, do you hear his bones uh, making noise? You know, Come creaking, on, man. you know, creaking? Come no, on. no, why not? Oh. I mean, it's happened oh, after so many months. No, oh, that was Juwan Howard's bones that were making noise. <laughs> no, it was Juwan Howard. Maybe UD. Is Kobe right that Zion owes it to Duke to play when he's healthy? This man wasted a year of his life playing college basketball when he could have been paid to play because he was professional worthy. And here's Kobe Bryant, who didn't go to college, saying that Zion Williamson owes it to Duke to play. Now, Zion Williams happens to agree with him. He says, I wouldn't have gone to college if my intention wasn't to play. But no, if I'm Zion Williamson, what I have to do is protect Zion Williamson's interests at all costs. However, I would say this to you. When his interests include, I want to play, what are you going to do? You can't really stop him. I think this is the first decision in being a man. Hey, Zion, if you want to play, play. If you want to move on, move on. The decision is up to you, and you've got to be the one to make it. Welcome to the real world. Wow, that was good advice in soundbite form. Nicely <laughs> done, Bosch. You might have a future in this. Thank you. Yeah, I wish you would still play. I would love to see Zion dunking on you. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, there, I won't jump. You it's won't okay. jump. No, no. no. You just go like that. Yeah. That's haunting the guests. You see all those pump fakes that D Wade gave you? I give yeah. you the pump fakes of the defensive version. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do you agree with Paul Pierce that the Lakers should shut down LeBron and save him for the next season? Uh, Chris Bosh, the idea of sitting players or playing them. We're talking about it mm. too much around here. He's under 500 right now. You know he hasn't looked quite the same since his groin injury. And here is Paul Pierce saying that LeBron James, never mind, just quit on this season. If I were the Lakers, I would shut LeBron down. What? I mean, like, no, seriously. I mean, he's getting older. He has to do too much for them to win. I mean, just look, at he puts out a triple-double and they can't win. I mean, just imagine if he really goes out and really exerts himself and has to go You're for You're giving 40. up on the season now. I mean, this season was a wash coming into it. They weren't contending. And when you're LeBron James, Hold on. they, they weren't, weren't contending from the jump. They were contending. They were a top four seed when he was healthy. Yeah. Then he got hurt. He's averaged a triple-double, and then they wheezed to a victory against the Pelicans. What are your thoughts here, Bosh? You're more qualified as a former teammate of LeBron <laughs> than Paul Pierce on this subject. Well, it's all about playing basketball, right? You get paid a lot of money to be the man in L.A. And they could use the work and the chemistry and still fight for a playoff spot. You know, 
I understand what Paul Pierce is saying. He's going after championships. He's a champion. He understands those things. But at the same time, you've got to develop your core. You have to play basketball with your teammates to get better. I think that I know why you disagree with Paul Pierce. <laughs> uh oh, what's he going to show us? Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> what have we just done? What have we just done? Chris Bosch came in here to fool around with us. Paul now, Pierce kicks him in the junk. In today's league, that would have been a foul, I might add. <laughs> oh my God, all these years later, he's trying to cover his shame. What is the charge call? Well, now I disagree with everything Paul said. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, very funny, guys. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, okay. I see. I see what's going on. I see what's going on. <laughs> he got the archives back there, huh? Uh, they got the whole ball for Need in the <laughs> footage. And you know what? Nobody helped me up after that. That's when I knew he was like, we're not a very good team. I just got need in the and it was pretty impressive. I didn't think he was going to dunk it. You know, I've never been able to knee somebody in the <laughs> and dunk well, on them at the, the same thing. time. I've never seen Paul Pierce <laughs> dunk like that. I've never seen that. <laughs> he jumped off the other leg, knee somebody in the <laughs> and still dunk it. That's pretty impressive.